Man that loses his mom makes the boldest move to deal with his grief. The five stages of grief reach out with their clammy hands and grasp the neck of anyone who's dealt with a serious loss. It's a process that unfolds differently in everyone, and all those in mourning can do is hope that they find the healing light at the end of the seemingly endless tunnel. Charles Hammerton was a man chokeslammed by grief after he lost three members of his family in one year. Determined to overcome his deep depression, he made one bold move to heal himself and put his life back on track, with a little help from an unusual friend. Charles Hammerton lived a good life in Falmouth, England, where he spent plenty of time with those closest to him. His mother, adopted mother, and his best friend, Will. If that companionship wasn't enough, Charles also had a great career. He was a member of the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force, and serving his country was a dream of his since he was young. All was well until 2017, when he faced a turbulent period. That was the year he faced unimaginable grief. Within months of each other, his mom, adopted mom, and Will all passed away. An unbearable sadness mounting into his life, Charlie knew that he had to do something to prevent himself from slipping into a deep, dark place. So the 25-year-old quit the Air Force and sold all of his possessions. They were painful reminders of his past, and besides, he had bigger plans. Charlie was a mess, but he knew he couldn't just sit around feeling sorry for himself. One thing the Air Force instilled in him was a love of travel, and it allowed Charlie to see much of the world. He realized the key to overcoming his grief was to travel, but he needed a partner. He knew the perfect little travel buddy to accompany him on his worldwide journey. It was a ferret he rescued named Bandit. He took the $19,000 all of his belongings earned him, bought a van, and took off. There was no place in the world off-limits to the dynamic duo, and Charlie wanted Bandit to experience everything his human owner did. Even though the little guy didn't know it, Bandit was one lucky, privileged ferret. Just like a dog, he had a lead, collar, and walked for miles, which is quite unique to ferrets, Charlie said. When he got cold, he'd jump inside my jacket, or if he was too hot, he'd splash in the water. Of course, he took a few other precautions. To ensure Bandit never overheated from the intense sun in some of the countries, Charlie always carried a cool bag around to keep the animal temperate. It worked perfectly, and Bandit crushed the travel game. Bandit was able to see the Eiffel Tower, and Charlie snapped an awesome picture where he played with perspective to make it look like Bandit was taking over the city. Attack of the 100-foot ferret. Bandit didn't only spend time with Charlie, either. The ex-military man met lots of great people during his travels, and everyone immediately fell in love with the rambunctious rascal. Hey, Bandit wants a cocktail too! Even though Bandit survived on a diet consisting almost entirely of kibbles, raw eggs, and some meat, Charlie let his friend try food and drink whenever he could. The trip, however, also had a special reason close to Charlie's heart. Not only was the purpose to see the world, but Charlie wanted to raise awareness for mental health and charities for veterans. He knew how earth-shattering depression could feel. For two years, Charlie and Bandit traversed the world meeting people, visiting landmarks, and getting an up-close view of different cultures. Bandit was now the most traveled ferret ever to have lived. Charlie knew what it was like to sit in the darkest depths of depression and pain, but he wanted people to know, even if it seemed like there was no light at the end of the tunnel, they were wrong. You're here, you're alive, you're breathing, even if sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Because you're still here, there's still something to learn, there's still something to teach, and there's a reason for your suffering," he told others. The pair traveled to 14 countries total, and even though it was a grueling schedule at times, they were always grateful to have each other. Sadly, only one week after they returned home to England, Charlie received another emotional blow. Bandit, sadly, passed away. Bandit and I parted ways when he packed his spiritual rucksack and hitchhiked Heaven's Highway a year ago. It was a week after we returned to England, and it was the perfect end to our crazy adventures. 
Although Bandit was gone, Charlie continued his forward momentum. He published a self-help book called Before Our Adventures, an inspirational narrative about dealing with the hardships of depression. He also started a company called Adventure Bandits, which coaches children to embrace nature, themselves, and overcome personal roadblocks standing in their way to happiness and success. Charlie's advice is simple. You're down, but you're not out, because a winner never quits, and a quitter never wins. He was thankful to all those before him that inspired him to travel with Bandit, as he was following the example of some bold travelers.